Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. I hear tell the French are ready to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. Can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves. The sting of the salt in the eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldogs putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? bleeding. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. What's in the wax? I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds of pork, 10 pounds of beef, 7 dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese, none of it French, don't worry. Five bottles of whiskey, a couple of dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets to cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well with me. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent if you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I try, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it.
What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. In the cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen, let us away. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. That's humid too. It's our eight swamp, I tell you. Right. To say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee off to? Return to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Pleased to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. See, you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Well, you will help the others to prepare. Follow. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means, we need more land! The French understand this, and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride. To offer them one last chance, the French will leave, or they will die! Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. signal.
The wood's too thick. At this rate, it'll be days before we reach Duquesne. We should follow the river instead. How could anyone call this forest home? It's all With the French push back, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. Fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! <laughs> Sir. Where are you off to, Edward? I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away! Death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe just a little personal. Been a pain in my ass, after all. But we are brothers in arms. 
Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me.